is up guys? It is Zach here and I am with Joe and today we are bringing you my and well my oh, our. <laughs> our WWE Clash of Champions 2019 predictions, predictions video. Now before we get into it we're just going to be quickly doing the King of the Ring prediction. Okay it's editing Joe here and apparently I've just been reading that the King of the Ring tournament has moved to Raw. Uh, I don't know how true that is but if it is, my and Zach predictions are the same. So there you go. I think Baron Corbin, he thinks Chad Gable. Anyways, back to the video. I want Chad Gable to win, but I'm predicting Corbin. Um, then moving on, we have obviously, starting things off, the Cruiserweight Championship match on the kickoff show. We got Gulak versus Carrillo versus Lince Dorado. Um, and Drew Gulak's the current champion. I am going with him retaining. Yeah, I mean, I don't really watch it. And every other pay-per-view that I've watched, he's retained. So I'm just going to say that he's retained. That's so, fair enough. There we go. Um, next up, we've got the Women's Tag Team Championship match. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross versus Fire and Desire, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. I am going with Alexa and Nikki retaining. Yeah, I mean that's the only thing that'll make sense. There's no point handing it down to those who yet. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, they can be champion eventually, but not right now. No. Next up, we have the United States Championship match: AJ Styles versus Cedric Alexander. Zach, who are you picking? AJ. AJ's retaining. Yep, hundred percent. I'm going with AJ Styles as well. Moving on, we've got the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match: The New Day versus The Revival. Part of me thinks that The Revival might pick that up, but I mean, I think The New Day are going to win. They stand more of a chance of winning. Let's face it, because they're just better as champions. I mean, The Revival had a spot where they were shaving each other's backs, so you can't really. Um, Give them the championship. Well, they are the still like the one of the greatest tag teams WWE has, but they're Raw superstars. So <laughs> the New Day's winning. Uh, the New Day's are going to be retaining their SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Next up, we got the Raw Tag Team Championship: Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman versus Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. I believe that Seth Rollins and Braun are retaining because then that adds even more tension to their Universal Championship match later on in the night. Plus, Ziggler and Rude have just been formed. They need to prove themselves more. Yeah, in a nutshell. <laughs> um, I think uh, that Seth and Braun will retain. Next match, the Intercontinental Championship match. Shinsuke Nakamura, the champion oh. versus The Miz. I predict 100% The Miz is winning. Um, because Chris Jericho has the most reigns with the Intercontinental Championship and the Miz is one behind. So WWE being as petty as they are, in my opinion, going to be putting the championship onto the Miz so they can then claim that the Miz is the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. Um, and a different reason for why I think the Miz is going to win. What has Shinsuke done? He wasn't even on TV for weeks. So they yeah, are... but he's with Sammy now. Yeah, but that's just happened. Yeah, true. Like, he hasn't been on TV for weeks and he's done absolutely nothing with it. It is a Shin shame because we all wanted Shinsuke to be champion. Yeah. Uh, but they just haven't used him. They never really do, let's be honest. Like, like they just don't. He's so, so good though, isn't he? He is, he's incredible. In NXT, he was incredible. New Japan, he was incredible. So, it's but, unfortunate, but The Miz is going to win. Next up, we've got your boy Roman Reigns versus Eric Rowan. And I'm telling you now, I, Roman Reigns is winning. Yeah, he just is. I mean, he hasn't... He hasn't lost a match since he came back, has he? Yeah. Has he? He lost... Ah, hang on. I don't know. But either way, Roman's just been hit by cars and he's been absolutely battered. Of course he's going to yeah. win. All of these kids watching are obviously going to want Roman Reigns but to I win. Admit, like, all of his other matches, they haven't really been Roman matches. Like, before he left because of leukaemia, like, the matches were just longer. He was taking a bit more damage. He's just not now. He's kind of... Almost squashing everyone, and it's not really going to help him out. But I just want it to be more like an old Roman match. I've just got to hope that it's a bit more like that. Well, there you go. Roman Reigns winning. Next up, we've got the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Bailey versus Charlotte Flair. <laughs> Bailey is retaining. Why? Because I believe that Bailey and Sasha are going to, you know leave with the championships. I, I don't know if there'll be outside interference, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Sasha got involved. But I just do think Bailey is retaining the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship. Mm. Charlotte. You're going to go with Charlotte Flair? I'm going to go with Charlotte Flair winning. Fair enough. Our next match, 
the Raw Women's Championship match, Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks. 100% Sasha Banks is winning. Why? Because she's just come back and she's a heel and WWE, well, put it this way, Becky Lynch is much more likeable as the underdog. Mm. So when Becky's champion, it's all well and good, but we didn't love Becky Lynch for being champion. We love Becky Lynch for being the like the person chasing the champion. Yeah. So I believe WWE is obviously seeing that Becky Lynch is like sort of dying down. I still think she's great, uh, but the, obviously she's dying down. The hype's died down a lot. Uh, so if they put her back in that underdog role, the same role she was in this time last year, uh, chasing against Sasha, yeah. it should be better. So Sasha Banks is winning. Yeah, I mean, she's had... Um... She's had the championship since Mania. Yeah. I mean, she gained both at Mania. Obviously, lost the SmackDown one. Um, but she's had the Raw one since Mania. And as Joe said, she has died down. They're doing more and more of her. And it's just, it's making me kind of tired of the whole gimmick. I do think Sasha Banks is going to win to cause a major upset. Next up, the WWE Championship, Kofi Kingston versus Randy Orton. Now, I said that at SummerSlam, Randy was going to win, and obviously that didn't happen. It went to a no contest. However, I don't think Randy's Such a winning bad here. Bad decision. Yeah, I don't think Randy's winning here. I believe that these two will rematch at Hell in a Cell, and that's when Randy will take the championship. I mean, I think that's just a bit unnecessary, but it's likely that that will be what happens. Well, they're going to have a Hell in a Cell match. Randy's obviously going to do something. They're building this feud around Randy being sadistic, going against Kofi's kids. It's the only good way to do it is to end it in a Hell in a Cell match, which I think Randy will win. Mm. Kofi doesn't have too much experience in Hell in a Cell. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to go with that and say yeah, that... Yeah, Kofi's uh, retaining Kofi's this time around. Yeah. I agree. That brings us to the Universal Championship match. Seth Rollins versus Braun Strowman. I'm saying that it's either going to be Seth retaining... Mm. Put it this way, it's not going to be a clean victory. Yeah, that's um, what I, I do think The Fiend might get involved. I Why? think it's a possibility. To obviously, oh, yeah, because the it, fiend has been wanting, yeah. They mentioned him in this, so I feel like the fiend might get involved, attack both of them. It goes to a no contest. I don't think there should be a turn from either Seth or Braun. I like them as tag team champions right now. Uh, however, I do think that Seth will not necessarily win the match, but he'll definitely leave the building with the championship. I'd like Braun to win, um, and I know in other prediction videos. I've had that reason, and for that reason, I picked that person. But I just don't think Braun will win. I think Braun should have been champion a while ago. I agree. When, Crown Jewel, he should have taken yeah, the championship. Because uh, back then, he was getting a lot of support from the universe. Um, and it's a shame that that died down. But yeah, Seth's going to win, but everyone wants Braun to be champ. And we have one more prediction to make, uh, which is not on here, but every championship is on the line. So I'm making a wild prediction. R-Truth will leave the building as a 16-time 24-7 champion or more. He's 15-time right now. Uh, he's definitely going to... I feel like he'll leave Clash of Champions as champion, um, but I feel like he's definitely going to drop it at least once. Uh, Drake Maverick, you name it, other people... Yeah, I mean, when, when Mick Foley brought this championship to WWE, so you would have thought it would have meant something a bit more serious than this. Like they've. What do you mean? I'm loving the twenty four seven stuff. Yes, but it's stupid. That's the point. No, no, it should be something a bit better than they than this. Yeah, than what no, but here's the thing. Ignore, ignore him, right? Zach didn't watch the old hardcore title. He doesn't. He didn't know what the hardcore title was. It's the exact same as the twenty four seven championship, basically, but with a better design. This is what it's for. These championships are meant to just be in funny segments. They're not meant to be nothing serious. It's not meant to be contested really in the ring. It's meant to be around. It's meant to be passed around to everyone. Okay, okay, that's it's fair. It's the jobber belt. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But they're sticking it on the same people. Like, don't get me wrong. Archer makes a great twenty four seven title because he's done something with it, but. Instead of always having Drew Gulak, not Drew Gulak, um, Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick, yeah, him. Instead of eventually. having him and Elias picking it up all the time and things like that, put it on someone else. Yeah, but they're, they're the established. Okay, never mind, right? We're not going to debate about this you in know? this video. But I do think our truth will be leaving as at least a 16 time champion. Zach, what's your 24 7 prediction? <sighs> Is there a random superstar you think is going to pick it up? No. But anyway, that was mine and Zach's Clash of Champions 2019 predictions. Unfortunately, due to circumstances, 
his girlfriend's party. Zach can't watch Clash of Champions with me. I know, absolutely terrible. Um, I am so, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, get out, get out of my so shot, actually. Bad. Yeah, anyways, so obviously he can't come and watch the pay- I just had a sock held at my head. But anyway, um, we will see you in the next video. Do the outro. I've been Zach, he's been Joe. You guys have been awesome. If you did like this, leave it a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.